Today we're going to be working on the mini ramp and all we're going to be doing is putting the last little bit for the decking and then trying to cover up the rest of it with uh, ramp armor. It's not really ramp armor, but it'll help smooth out some of the uh, ramp itself. So if you look down here where that crack meets, it's kind of steep and just makes you bump a little bit. So that's what that wood layer is going to uh, be for, is to help smooth it out. And same thing for that side, it'll help smooth this side over as well. And then we could technically go ahead and start skating it. I don't have a coping for that side and I don't have a coping for that side yet. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to use. These I got for free. They were uh, found in a dumpster at Zoomy, so that actually worked out quite well. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and knock this out. <laughs> Since I am using a scrap piece of plywood, there are holes in it. So that's what I'm working on, trying to fill right now. And then uh, we'll have this whole decking side done. And then we can go ahead and start laying the ramp armor all the way across. But I uh, just gotta make sure those holes are filled so I don't hit them when I'm skating and then fall and die, because that's probably what would happen. Well, I'm not a screws again, so this is as far as I'm able to get today. That, and it's raining. I'm completely soaked. The ramp is completely soaked. We've got a giant puddle over there. So I think that might be it for this part of the ramp update. I'm almost done, just not quite there yet. If you're wondering what I'm doing right here, I am going to cut all of that off and use that for the center section over here because I don't think I have enough pieces. But looking at it like this, I kind of want to make it go all the way up and create a wall ride. That would be so cool. And then I could drop in off of my roof and just wee. But that would be way too much speed and way too much work. 
and I don't think it's worth it. But it would be cool if I did, maybe in the future, I don't know. Looks like that's gonna be it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for the next video, because the next one, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make some awesome skate wax, and then I'll be selling it on my website at shopkeganco.com, so if you wanna pick some up, it's gonna be probably around five bucks, but it's gonna be some awesome, awesome skate wax that eventually I'll be using for the skate ramp and then other rails and stuff like that whenever I get to go skating, and our Texas weather isn't raining 24-7. It's really weird for Texas, this typically doesn't happen, but uh, yeah, it's been kind of a bummer and it's been putting a hold on a couple of my videos that I've been wanting to do, so sorry about that guys. I know I'm behind schedule and I try to do more daily-ish style uploads. It's just been very difficult wor with work and then very difficult with the weather, so uh, we're trying to get back on top of that and hopefully this is a good start, but uh, yeah, like I said, that's just gonna be it for today, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one, later.